Uh, welcome back to Green Bag Reptiles. And uh, Izzy is in there. And he's literally, as I started filming, just taking a massive poop. Or is he just weird? He might just be weird. But. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is classic. Uh, I'm going to have to mop that up, clearly, young man. Where we are in with some of the UV. Obviously the UV is not going to cover it all. We'll have to put secondary UV in for the tortoises, but it's a different matter. Yeah, hey, it's cracking on now. <clears throat> I want to get different sticks, I said that. Got to seal up stuff, so he's going to probably have to go back into the other enclosure for 24 hours, 48 hours when I actually get the silicon. I keep meaning to get it after work, but or before work, it makes more sense. Well, yeah. we slept in here last night <coughs> with just the heat on. <laughs> there you go. Is that because you pooped and peed on the shelf? So I might have to put the mulch down in a minute. Now I keep putting them in here. And just uh, take them out and seal it. <coughs> As a uh, mulch will protect the floor. It's cracking on. I might fill this bathroom. Make it as comfortable as it is going to be. Until I build the box to stand the pond on. And put the drain in. Um... I'm going to probably move the fountain's cable so the cable comes in through the same hole as the drain. Keep it all nice and tidy. Keep, maybe have the fountain underneath the far corner. Just run it underneath the mulch, the cable, right in the corner. Um, the heat is actually really good. It's like 38... <laughs> You can see the bright spot, it's literally 38 degrees in the center of that. And then it grades out to about 20, 25. The lowest point down in the bottom corner is 22. And right over in that far shelf is 21. That's a pretty spot on gradient, really. Um, we're, obviously, if I had a smaller iguana who was a bit more flighty, a bit more jumpy, I'd obviously cover these lights. But as Izzy is, is almost 15. <laughs> He's like, where is the water? But this is beautiful, man. This is literally a dream come true. Have a big, yeah, you agree? Yeah, big walk-in enclosure. I was talking to my friend earlier who was in here and we were discussing what we're going to do. My mate helps me with quite a lot of, oh yeah. but um, I don't want it too cluttered that I can't work in here, but I want it that he's got lots of climbing. You can probably have another shelf, but then I'll have to pull the lights up a bit more. Obviously the lights need to be so, you know, the UV probably doesn't even hit the floor in here. Right. <clears throat> if it does, it's very minimal. So he really gets. Come on, old man, you can get out of there. I'm going to get some mulch and uh, start mulching. But yeah, it's cracking on. Like in middle, it, it's all flexible. Um, it's all going to be moved around. I'm going to put some more points where I can move these hooks across the ceiling so I can adjust the UV strips to have any other combination of across the room but uh, you know if i move things around it's all very modular but this is a uh, yeah cracking on very cool I'm loving it all right take care